is there any particular things, uh, you know, coverage or jargon in your community that you think might be beneficial if it was a, adopted more widely? Mm. Hmm. <laughs> fun one. Yeah, I, I immediately can think of some, except they're disqualified by um, some of them are so specific to an environment like this that they wouldn't be helpful more widely adopted. But that also might be interesting. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> I think so many of them are just like silly little shorthands for things that are at school that well, aren't in that. the broader world. Like we have school buses that come to pick people up. Oh, okay. And at the, well, at the end of the day, after the buses, there's, most students are gone, but right before closing, we have like these hmm. 10 minutes where you're supposed to be up front at the building ready to get picked up because you're about to leave. Right. But for the 10 minutes before that, there used to be alarms that would go off that made quacking sounds. And so now at 3.40 every day, 20 minutes before closing, people will say, oh, it's duck time. Like, we got to get our stuff and get ready. It's duck time. <laughs> we can't start, you know, a new game on the computer because we have to go soon. Yep, yep. Nice, nice. So duck time, yeah. yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.